And this is Resident Evil 7. Where was I? What was I doing? Take down Evelyn. Boom. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. And stayed out. I thought these elevators and shit still works. Those fast little fuckers. Whoa. Almost like they're getting a little bit harder to kill. It's not a good thing for me.
I'm dead. Ah. Very, very dead. Ha. Hello. Smarter than the average Ethan. <sighs> oh shit. I don't try it myself. Wrong button. Oh my god. Ah, oh, that was horrible. I meant to switch weapons. And instead of using the D-pad, I used Y. Why did I use Y? Shot an arrow. This way with it. What the hell? Stay down, Lieutenant Dan. Jesus.
There's probably a thousand more this way. What's this? It's Friday, January 16, 2015 at 12.42 a.m. Thanks to you guys, it's been about a... Could have swore I heard the door open. Whatever. Thanks to you guys, it's been about a week since my head's been clear and back to normal. And she still thinks she's got me. You guys really need to work on fixing that. Not only does she look like a little kid, but she's about as stupid as one too. Mom and Dad are still totally under there. I was wondering, is this whole family obsession something you guys programmed into her? It's kind of fucked up. So, Friday, November 4th, 2015. That bitch Mia is still somewhere in between Evie La La Land and reality. She gets pretty violent, so I locked her up in a cell. I thought maybe Evelyn would get mad since me is her favorite and all, but she doesn't seem to care. She actually goes and visits her sometimes. She thinks me is her mommy. Like I said, your bioweapon is fucked up. Sent September 1st, 2016, 1 10 a.m. Evelyn's family obsession is getting out of hand. She's making everyone kidnap more and more assholes off the street to add to her freak show of a family. Maybe she's getting tired of me and not coming around. But it's a pain in the ass for me because I gotta clean up the mess whenever someone new comes along. By the way, Evie is looking sick or something. Her skin is getting all wrinkly and she's getting gray hairs. Is that supposed to happen? It's almost like she's getting old all of a sudden. Who sent that? Had to be one of the bakers. This report details the symptoms that appear when the bacterium that grows inside the E-series infects a human. Be sure to read this document thoroughly before dealing with E-series weaponized assets. They are hereafter referred to as mold. Initial infection. The mold ingests nutrients from the subject's body to propagate itself and slowly take over cells within the body. As a side effect of this, the infected subject gains remarkable regenerative abilities. During experiments, we removed arms and legs from test subjects and found that they were able to co apt the amputated limbs in a matter of minutes. Mid-stage infection. Once the mold reaches the brain, the subject's thoughts become in tune with those of the E-series asset. The subject starts to hear things and experience hallucinations and is soon comes under complete control of the E-series asset. If this state continues, the host will lose all sense of ego. Complete infection. After every cell in the body has been taken over by the mole, the subject begins to lose their human form. 
physical mutations differ from case to case, but all results in him or her acquiring incredible physical strength containing a subject at this stage would be extremely difficult. Huh. Is there anything on the back? Nope. Five minutes after dose vomiting. E necrotoxin E series dosage test. Ten minutes after dose death. Twelve minutes after dose cell calcification. Huh. E neuro neuroc necrotoxin necrotoxin E necrotoxin My eyes went blurry for a second. Destroy cells of any subject based on the E series bioweapon model. Use only for disposal of E series assets. The toxin must first be stimulated before use. This by placing a sample of an E series cell into the necrotoxin container. Oh, wow, that's a lot. This project has instigated in 2000 as one of several concepts for company's next boss, next generation experimental battlefield superiority initiative, working with technical ass uh, assistance from HCF to develop a bioweapon for neutralizing combatants in mass with minimal direct contact. Next bass was later folded and all its assets diverted to this project. What makes this project more mar markedly different from conventional weapons is its ability to turn enemy combatants into allies, converting hostile elements into willing servants. Since this effectively eliminates the costs of not only POW handling, but also combat itself, it's no wonder we had the and even blank blank organization chomping at the bit to get on board. The project would never have ex existed were it not for the discovery in of the remarkably uh, remarkably progressed seriant vicariant evolution fungus that we commonly term to term the mutamocyte mutamocyte whatever sate kate word i can not pronounce fabrication method for each bioweapon was to introduce the mutamite mutamites mites mite mutam Seat. I don't know. I Muta my seat. Mutamize it. Let's go with that. Mutamize it. Genome to a pre stage four human embryo and perform cultivation in a controlled environment over a period of thirty eight to forty weeks. The resultant organisms were referred to as candidate specimens and graded based on usability from the impractical and faulty series A through D to perfected E series. A common appearance was selected for the bioweapons that of a roughly 10 year old girl to ensure ease of blending in with urban refugee populations. The first E series specimen named Eveling has proven capable of secret, uh, secreting the mutamite, mutamite, mutam, 
what I say? Meet him my sit. My seat. In my seat. Whatever. From her tissue at will. It is also of note that Evelyn's mutamycet imposes a profound control over body and mind when introduced into a host organism. We still have a lot to learn about the mechanism by which Evelyn achieves and maintains this control, but the working theory is that the vector is similar to the auto-inducer pheromones used for quorum sensing in New Domino's bacteria? Bacteria. Evelyn's control is exerted in a series of discrete stages, the first of which is hallucination. Almost immediately after infection, the subject begins to see images of Evelyn, though she is not in fact there, and even hear her voice, which is inaudible to anyone else. Auditions with, with infected subjects throughout the stages of infection reveal that at first the phantom Evelyn appears to be a normal young girl, sometimes desiring companionship or assistance. As time progresses, she begins making more and more extreme demands, including self-mutilation and attacks on other people. The, the psychological shock this in, induces helps to break down the mind's natural barriers to Evelyn's brainwashing effect, and by the time mental control is achieved, the mutamice, mutamite, mutamice, whatever, infection has progressed throughout the body cells, so the body blank. Jesus, that was a mouthful. Another one. <laughs> Another one. Damn it. Right. Evelyn's functions also include the ability to form organisms from mycelia, the fungal filaments. The term organism is used loosely here. Strictly speaking, they are superorganisms formed of countless mycelia. What's important, though, is that they exhibit a strong survival instinct in which to fend and will defend themselves ferociously with the slightest provocation. Their fungal toughness and remarkable strength give them significant battlefield potential. The researchers have been calling these superorganisms the molded, mind of mold, and also molded as in shape. The name has a certain elegance to it. For the treatment of accidental infection, performing on samples of Evelyn's body tissue produces a unique fungal side fun -gicidal serum administering the serum to an infected subject will cause their mycelia to calcify but it's the subject cells are already largely invaded the serum will be fatal since the treatment window is so small the serum primarily uses use is there for disposal of infected subjects rather than a cure. In exploring the serum potential, we found that subjecting it to would enhance its effects to extreme potency, becoming a compound we know call e neurotoxin, necrotoxin, which blank, and even in teeny amounts. What's been interesting to observe and Evelyn's behavior is her obsession with the concept of family. In experiments, we found in, on multiple occasions that infected subjects were compelled to act as her mother or father, treating her as if she were really their daughter. Why did she settle upon family as the theme for her mental control? This is just speculation, but it could be that she instinctively understands that a family unit is better suited to belong, blending into spirit. This is just speculation, but it could be that she instinctively understands that a family unit is better suited to blending into social groups than a lone girl. On the other hand, well, the sentimental sort of might suggest that she's making up for a perceived lack of love in her quarantined upbringing, a parent's love. 
Flame rounds. Neural rounds. Okay. Where are we going? What's that? Hands tan in my own. So I can't go that way. Can't go that way. So that's not creepy. Hello, Evelyn. I should not have survived that.
Oh. That's convenient. 